Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I have not been here for a long, long time, so I hope you will welcome me back. So this vlog is going to be a Warrington Way Ultramarathon. What was such a good day actually, but I'll get more into that after the video. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel and keep updated. Also click that little bell and that'll give you a notification when I upload my next video. So let's get on with the vlog and I will give a little review after the video. <laughs> Long time no see guys, it's Warrington Way and it's a lovely morning, it's about 8 o'clock and we are just below 5 miles and the route is very very muddy, probably one of the most muddy races I've ever done but the weather for saying it's November is brilliant so hopefully it shouldn't rain and we should get through this quite easy even though I'm not trained, I'm feeling quite good. If you have to walk, you have to walk. It is my first ultra since Chester 50. So hopefully we'll see some, quite a lot of animals so-called and a lot of sights. I've heard there is a potato field what people say you lose your feet in. Hopefully I will keep my shoes and I will see you soon. mile 17 it's got a lot more muddy it's really warm even though it's like november but the weather's better because it's not raining it's not super wet and it's got a nice breeze but the base is actually really really well managed and the route is generally quite country-ish um, a lot of cows a pumpkin patch um, so really good really interesting um, I've never actually seen a pumpkin patch so it was really nice seeing one and at the moment I'm just doing a little run walk shuffle kind of thing because I don't want to be super tired at the end and my legs are a bit sore what is expected really since I haven't trained for this except a couple of marathons but not trained in between them because I wanted my knee to heal but my knee's fine um, I keep getting pain but they keep disappearing what is usually the case when you're doing something like this so to be honest you do find that your knee will get sore and then it'll vanish and then your hip will and then it might return but as long as it's not constant and it does go away after a couple of miles you should be fine Do you know when you just need something at a certain point in a race to pick you up? I think this was it. absolutely perfect just what I needed made me forget about my knee knee pain but like really big pick me up and what a lovely thing to do so we have just come off the trans Pennae path what I ran on M to L so Manchester to Liverpool Ultra and my knee is so but I'm doing good 
I'm still running with bits of walking but I kind of want to do that and then hopefully at the end I can finish quite strong and in an okay time I haven't trained so I can't expect much can I really so I'll see you at the last checkpoint just after the last checkpoint maybe with a guest broke my um, tripod thing, whatever selfie stick I guess and I've never ever been this high off running I'm having an absolute awesome time like absolutely ridiculous and I've loved the race and a bonus is there's cows in this field and they're not chasing me <laughs> And now there's a hill. Oh. Yeah, but this is like... This race, if you've not done an ultra, is one of um, the best races, I would say, for a beginner. It's not too hilly. It's really fun. It's got quite a lot of good things to look at. And I feel like you get a mix of terrains. So it's quite entertaining and you can see what you like if you like the hills and stuff because it, it's got hills but it's not the most hilly race ever I'm absolutely having an awesome time people here are really friendly but saying I only paid £30 for this ultra the food stations are absolutely well stocked and it's so well organised but if you do want to come to this race it does sell out in five minutes. I will link all the information below just so you can have a look at Limb Runners, I think it is, and it's called Warrington Way. And I'm gonna go now and hopefully we'll see some nice things around and I'll see you at the finish line. So after that I did finish doing 8 hours 15 I think or just about that time. I will put the exact time on screen now. It was absolutely an amazing day. I had so much fun. The Humper Lumpers, the Humper Lumpers halfway through just lifted my spirit and carried me on till the end. I would recommend this ultra to anyone as the first ultra as it wasn't too hilly it wasn't too flat the trail was really scenic and interesting and you ran through different environments also it was really well supported really well organized also all the checkpoints had an amazing food i actually think it's one of the most organized races i have done yet for such a small event what was so cheap because it only cost me 30 pounds what is quite cheap for an ultra. I can't believe how they pulled it off so well. So I would highly recommend doing this race and I hope you enjoyed the video. So that's the end of the video. I am hoping to get 50 marathons done by time and 30. What leaves me with 30 marathons to do next year. So please comment down any races you know of down below. And if you've got any goals for next year, please write your goals down because I'd be really interested on in looking at other people's goals. So I guess that's the end of the video. If you did like the video, like and subscribe and I will see you next time.